Him and me for a long time. For those of you I've never met, my name is Greg Russell, and believe it or not, tomorrow night we finish up my 44th season in a row. If I can talk tomorrow, we'll be here tomorrow night. How many of you have been out here with us before? You've been out here. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Glad you're here. In a minute, these little kids are going to sing for us. That's what we do. Who's going to sing tonight? Raise your hand. Good, good. Last night, we had some good kids, didn't we? But we had some weird ones. <laughs> we always have some weird kids. I love weird kids. Hey, raise your hand if you're a weird kid. Put them up. <laughs> so cute. I do love weird kids. Hey, raise your hand if your parents are weird. Let's see that. <laughs> Some of you only have one hand up. Put up both hands if both your parents are weird. Good. <laughs> and kids, who do you think's weirder, moms or dads? Yay! Yeah, that's true. Dads are weird, aren't they? I'm a dad. I think we're, we're weird. If we said mom was weird, it would hurt her feelings, wouldn't it? <laughs> mom would be like, well, I'm not weird. Dads, we know we're weird. And we make weird noises around the house, too. That's why we like to have a big dog with us at all times. Hey, kids, watch this. Parents, raise your hand if you think you have weird kids. There you go. <laughs> There is a genetic connection. And kids, you know what makes your parents weird? You do. Ah, before you were born, some of your parents were much happier. Yeah, that's true. Should we have a show of hands on that deal, huh? Don't look, kids, don't look. Your dad, he just teases you. Hey, you know who's not weird? Grandparents. See, grandparents are nicer than real parents, aren't they? Mm -hmm. They figure, hey, messed up our own kids, got another shot at this whole deal. <laughs> My own philosophy is grandchildren are grandparents' reward for not killing their own kids. <laughs> Who do you think's nicer, grandmothers or grandfathers? Grandpa. Grandmothers are nice. Grandma lets you eat chocolate cake for breakfast. She will. Grandma's like, chocolate cake for breakfast. Now, that's a good idea. <laughs> Cut me a little slice. <laughs> See, you go on vacation and you say, hey, Mom, can I get a Greg Russell uh, CD to play in the car going home? What's your mom say? No. And when I say no, what do I mean? No. So you ask your dad, hey, Dad. <laughs> Can I get a Greg uh, Russell DVD movie to watch in the band going back home? What's your dad say? No, he says, ask your mother. <laughs> That's code for no way, Jack. But if you say, hey, Grandma, can I get a Greg Russell CD? What's your grandma say? Sure. Sure, sure honey. Cool. Get two of them. Cool. Well, I, well, what is a CD? <laughs> Grandma is still trying to figure out her eight track player. <laughs> hey, let's sing about our grandparents. Clap along, put your hands together. When I was a little bitty boy, just up on the floor, we used to go out to Grandma's house every month in the soul. We need chicken pie and country ham. We didn't get much sleep, but we had a lot of fun at Grandma's for the baby. Oh, grandmothers are so nice. See, when your parents drop you off at Grandma's house, oh, Grandma's happy to see you for about the first hour. <laughs> then Grandma gets a little crazy, doesn't she? Grandma's like, well, let, 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 let's find an activity for the children. Activity, that's a grandma word. I got a good one. Let's take grandpa in the backyard. 
taping to a tree. <laughs> Set his flip flops on fire. See how fast old Grandpa can grow. All right, clap along. After supper, we'd sit around a fire and the old folks would spit and chew. Want to talk about the farm and the war, grain is in the valley of them too. I'd sit and listen and I'd watch the fire till the cobwebs filled my head. Next thing I know, I wake up in the morning and think about the old man of bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, it was something to down in shit. Made from the feathers of forty left beast and a whole bunch of mouth to the tip. In a whole day, kids, four hound dogs, a big wee stone from the shed. Well, we didn't get much sleep, had a lot of fun on a grandma's feather bed. Oh, let's don't leave out Grandpa. Do you know how old your Grandpa is? Well, if he won't tell you, you can figure it out. You know how, how you tell how old the tree was if you cut a tree down? Yeah, yeah you count the rings, that's right. Grab that one, Mom. You got her. <laughs> the mom or the nanny? The mom. <laughs> Let us know. We got rope if you need it. <laughs> you know how you tell how old your grandpa is? Every year, grandpas wear their pants up a little higher. Before my dad passed away, he was wearing his pants right up here. We figured if he lived two more years, he'd have to unzip to talk to anybody. <laughs> you know what's fun to do with your grandpa? You know where he wants to go with you that is the most fun for him? No, not the beach. Now, grandpas hate the beach. <laughs> Too much sand at the beach. Too hot at the beach. Plus, grandpa got to carry all the stuff to the beach. Yeah. No, you know where he wants to go. Home Depot, that's where he wants to go. <laughs> Everything he ever wanted, they have at Home Depot. Hey kids, you know what's fun to do with Grandpa? See, Grandpas are the only people that can watch a whole football game on TV with their eyes completely closed. <laughs> Make a noise! <laughs> Sneak over while Grandpa's asleep in front of the TV and take the batteries out of his TV remote control. <laughs> Then when Grandpa wakes up all grumpy and everything, watch him try to turn the channel for about a half hour. <laughs> Finally, he'll yell at your grandma, Ethel, get in here the kids broke that TV again. All right, clap along. It was nine feet high, six feet wide, so down in chip. Made from the feathers of 40 left feet, took a hold of the clock with the tick. Get a hold of kids, four hound dogs, a biggie we stole from the shed. We didn't get much sleep, we had a lot of fun, and grandma's fed a bit. Now, how many of you are lucky enough you still have at least one grandma or 